Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel, you are greatly appreciated. Um, so, I had a dream of a woman that is losing a home or something. Um, so in the dream, I see this woman, uh, she's on like the petite side, um, short hair, maybe stuffs either above or below her ear or something like that, but very petite. Um, and she and her partner are in a home, which they're losing, um, I believe. Um, and he looks kind of depressed. Um, it almost seems as though this woman is trying to hide that she has a lover or something like that. But he's been living in this home with her. There's something where it's like another woman came out of the room. And it was this huge woman. So I don't know if she's been pretending like she has a female roommate so she maybe pays someone to live with her and she's been acting like it's the only it's only the two of them in there but there's a man that's been living with this woman and i don't even know why that's relevant um but i just remember whoever the dream was for you were asking her if that was everything because it, the house the house looked empty so it, it's like she was being she was losing the house she was moving out of the house and you were asking her is that everything like did she get all of her stuff outside out of the house and she said yes that's it um and then she told you about the woman th this tall tall and huge woman that comes out of the room she said oh this is like i don't even remember the woman's name she's good at cooking whatever um i don't know why she was telling you that i don't know if she found someone that didn't have much and she was trying to get you to keep her or she tried to find somebody to do you something because this woman was stupendously large and I'm not saying that to be, uh, you know, mean, but like, I'm not saying like, you know, uh, plus size, but just very huge and like just very storky. Like, and it's like it was supposed to intimidate you or something, but you didn't seem to really care. Um, so there's a mature woman out here, either a mature woman or a woman of high on honor, uh, whatever she wants to call herself that's been living some type of double life, secret life, maybe pretending to be single and independent, like she does everything on her own and things like that. But no, there's somebody that's been behind her work working with her living with her is a gentleman i saw him in like a you know those men dress shirt a very long one it was i think white um i didn't see his pants i just saw the upper torso of him and he was walking around like a, I, he came out of a room and walked around the corner in the house or something like that and you and her were you are a feminine energy that i saw in this dream that was having a conversation with this woman and asking her if she had gotten everything that she uh, everything out of the house because the house was being transitioned or was being given to you so it's something relevant about that for someone out there something is about to be balanced for you there was more than likely what i'm picking up on is that a woman may, more than likely got people in the court system to help her steal something maybe they didn't know they were stealing from you or maybe she did it in a way where they thought like it was something that was legit or maybe she just has connection in the court system and she misused it and didn't mind helping her acquire what belongs to you but i also feel like this is a woman because she came came out in my last reading or one of my last readings excuse me or maybe i haven't posted that reading yet i don't think i have um this is a woman that had help behind the scenes to orchestrate all of this where where is that something that belongs to you goes to her um so just kind of keep that in mind. This could be someone that maybe wants to come towards you to make some type of peace or something. You don't got nothing to say to this woman. She don't got nothing to say to you that you need to hear. Because this is someone very malicious. This is someone that doesn't care what it is that's going on with you. Like, you know, like the, the, the theme of our, our our readings recently where it says someone is doing something or a group has been doing something where they don't care how it's affecting either a feminine energy or a family or something like that. They don't care. And maybe... There is someone in the court system that's trying to right or wrong, um, or maybe there's someone around her that's trying to right or wrong, and she's living in fear and trying to stop this from happening, but it's still going to be balanced out. Whatever was taken from you will be returned to you. Ten times four is what I'm hearing as well. Um, I also had another dream where somebody passed away last night, and it was very weird. It's almost as though someone had been pretending. Uh, this is like a false person and they have been pretending to be something they're not uh typically when it comes to like soul guys they may appear to you in like different shapes different forms so they may appear to you as like you know like some type of exotic bird or something right um but the only thing is that this exotic bird that i saw i mean like this thing was huge 
but there was something very like dark about it it's like something like a dark energy was trying to pretend to be like of a, a light energy like it there was some type of confusion about what it was you couldn't even tell like it is it like a I, I don't even know how to verbalize it but it was like there's some type of misleading energy about it but it was laying on the side of a building that looked really ex like just like clown like it looked like a clown i don't want to say clown but it just it was confusing it's like some you know like you you try to be exotic you try to be eccentric but you're not exotic or eccentric that's the energy that i got from this bird because it was not something that was natural like the, the appearance of this bird it was not its natural appearance it's like it was taking on another appearance so that people who think that it was whatever it was presenting itself to be. But there was a lot of negative energies. And I remember I kept looking at the bird and it was just like, what? I remember in my dream, I was like, what, is, what the heck is going on? Like that bird is dead. Like why is it that many colors and why are the, the uh, patterns on the bird so like, yes, like so perfect. You know, like you have a checker or like a, a pattern, like you have white, you have like pink purple pink purple like a pattern like that but it's like the lines were so perfect and typically creatures in the wild their patterns are not perfect that's the beauty of it like you're not going to see an uh, animal where it's like the, the those it's very rare to see this way it's like the circles on that animal is just very perfect there's no like flaws or nothing on there all like the you know like a cheetah a cheetah's pattern is not perfect right there's the weird things, the weird shifts and things like that. Most of the shifts on there are not the same. You may not find the same shift twice on that on that uh, cheetah. But it was almost like this bird had been painted that color. Pink, purple, pink, purple. Like it had been painted to look like something it was not. So it's that maybe someone was trying to pretend to be your soul guy. And maybe they pissed off your soul guy and they were taken out. Um, or like maybe someone was trying to pretend to be you. And maybe your ancestors are fed up with them. And there's kind of like someone is being eliminated, but there's somebody that's going to be passing away and their demise is going to lead to you successfully ending some type of chapter, which this is something that's a final decision that's being made by the spirit realm because someone has gone overboard with something uh, just to force things to go their way, just to have some type of wish fulfillment when they should have just gone within and tried to see things from a different perspective. It's almost also like the two dreams. They are connected in some way, shape, or form. It's like this mature woman didn't have to steal from you. Um, all she had to do maybe was reach out to you when something was left to you. But maybe someone looks down on you and they think, you're, they think that you're beneath them. They're better than you. Maybe it has something something to do with status. They feel like they are more, you know, uh, they're superior to you or something like that. But that's not the case. Um, so they didn't maybe, maybe the people around her including herself they dismissed you when maybe a decision was supposed to be made in regards to what belongs to you um maybe someone saw that you were you were doing okay in life and just decided okay she she or he uh done this don't need this they're they're fine they work a good job they get paid for fairly well they'll be okay they don't need to know about this but that's not how it works your ancestors want what was left to you what belongs to you because there's some type of lineage sentimental value to what was left to you so it's going to be returned to you it's not something that she can hide or she can keep pretending because i think there's something that's going to be brought to your attention um so someone is planning on bringing justice into the situation so just keep that in mind i was just like that bird it just cut me up far in the dream it's like it was just laying there i didn't even get the chance to see the bird alive like the whole dream the bird was dead and like it was just laying there and people were going about their life like it wasn't even there so that should let you know like there was something about that that bird because if it, it was like as unique as it wanted to seem People we have noticed, like this this huge bird laying here is, you know, DOA or something. And it's very different looking. I don't think it's from this world or something like that. You know how you have light workers. A lot of us, when you look at us, you can tell there's something unique about us. You can tell, like, you know, we, we come off across, we come off a bit on the eccentric side of things. Like, you can just look at us and you'll know it's something about that one. 
But if like, somebody that does not have that factor to them was trying to come across as being eccentric, being a, 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 a special, being a star scene, I feel, I mean, everybody is special, but the energy this person was trying to represent or pretend to be, I think it was just a little bit too powerful for them. And maybe they didn't realize that somebody comes from a specific lineage and maybe that lineage just doesn't fool around that way. And so they, they're checking somebody because somebody didn't just pretend to be you. They took something to a whole nother level um, and it's being uh, balanced out. Okay. Also, I've been getting a lot of downloads and I don't want to like pull everything in like different videos because it gets to be too much. Um, there is something where there is a guy being sent towards a woman, okay? There goes our queen of pentacles in reverse. This woman won't let up. Um, there's a guy being sent towards a woman, okay? You got a man that within a company may be interested in working with you or maybe there's like an opportunity for you or some type of abundance for you that somebody does not want you to have. There could be like a king of pentacles that she's interested in. I don't know if this woman thinks that you and her are in competition for this king of pentacles. So maybe he wants to come towards you and she don't want him to come towards you. This woman is married, by the way. And she is still out here with options, still having side pieces and stuff. This is someone that's very greedy. And I'm so glad she came out as herself today again. This is someone very greedy. This is the kind of woman um, who, if she's married to a man... Uh, she got with him for money, but if she meets, let's say Peter, and Peter has more money than John, she's gonna leave uh, uh, um, John to get with Peter because you know Peter got more more numbers. Okay, this is this kind of woman, and while she's with Peter, she's still going to be cheating because this is someone with a busy eye. Uh, someone does not have control, which is like why I'm saying I'm so glad she came out in her natural energy, which is dark, insecure, greedy, superficial. Uh, no type of mother instinct and things like that. This life is all about her. Um, but she'll be with Peter, who she married because he has a lot of money. And she'll still be out here with another person that she's sleeping with. Someone could even go both ways is what I've been picking up with her. It's just a lot. Like, I've been getting about this Queen of Pentacles. And not, and I'm not specifically sure why I'm getting this much detail on this woman. Um, but there is something about a union coming together that she's pissed off about. She does not want you two to come together. She does not want you to have ultimate fulfillment in life. Not a ten of cups, not a ten of pentacles. Uh, as far as she's concerned, whether you're broke, busted, disgusted, whether you're MIA, DOA, whatever it is, she don't care what your living situation is. And that is because someone like this, you just kind of have to look at them and feel sorry for them. Because it's like two and two just does not click upstairs for them. So you just got to like let them be, okay? Um, but there's something where I had a dream. This woman is arranging someone to be sent to you. Um, so what I picked up on is that let's say you live in a house. You live in a condo. You live in a, an apartment. This woman, there, there are people that they're, they've done something where they are managing the property that you are living in right so they may be doing something where they're causing damages to the property that you are living in just so that someone from this company can have access to your unit uh, whoever they're sending is someone that is very much aware of why they're coming towards you they're supposed to come towards you and act like they don't know what's been going on or that they're surprised to see to, to get to know you for you because people told them that you were very mean and malicious and just rude and cruel and things like that but he knows exactly what's going on so this is a plot what she's doing is hoping that you are going to warm up to this person um and that you two are going to spark some type of relationship friendship or something the whole time the conversations are more than likely be being recorded and he's transmitting it back to her and things like that and it's in hopes that they can present some type of evidence to a masculine or, a, 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 or an institution to prove to them that you are with somebody. And the institution or the masculine is not going to know the whole time that this is staged. That you're not with this person. You two are just communicating. So if somebody comes to your, 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 your house your condo, your apartment that you're renting or whatever, to do work on there, keep the conversation bare minimum. Don't be rude or nothing to them. Keep it cordial because there is some type of setup. It's like a young energy they're sending to you. Now, I don't know how young he is, but because of your energy, it's why this woman is trying to find someone very specific to your energy. She thinks that she knows you 
she understands what it is you are looking for and things like that. Maybe someone thinks that you have a specific type and she's got out here and found that specific type for you. It ain't going to work. There was somebody else that she was sending before, but they found out that you know who it is they're sending and why they're coming towards you. So they're trying to switch up their tactics now and find somebody that you've never met before. So this is supposed to be like a coincidental thing or a genuine friendship being sparked. But I'm letting you know ahead of time, this is not a genuine friendship. Uh, this is someone that's been sent to you. This is a work, uh, work, uh, 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 what is it? A work mission that he's on. He's been hired to come towards you. Uh, kind of think like you're living, let's say, you know, the company you're renting from, they, there's a maintenance guy that's been working there for a long time. So you call him to let him know something is wrong with the sink or something. And he comes in, look at it, and he lets the upper management know that there's something going on with the sink. Instead of them sending the maintenance guy that you call, they're going to send somebody else. And that somebody else is very specific. There's a reason why they're sending him. Okay, it said, oh, she's young and vibrant. He's young and vibrant. Let's send somebody young and vibrant to him. They'll click, they'll talk because they're doing it based off of the personality of the previous person they were sending and your personality. So they think, well, since she was friendly with this person, she's going to more than likely be friendly with this person. But it ain't going to be none of that. None of that. Like I said, keep the conversation bare minimum. Let him do his job. If you can assist in any way, assist them professionally and leave it at that. There's going to be two masculines that they're going to send towards you to do the job. Because it's whatever job they're supposed to be doing is not something that's going to be like a one-man show. It's going to be something that requires maybe two, three people. But I saw two masculines in my dream that are being sent to you. So just be very cautious, okay? Be very cautious. Uh, don't get too friendly with these people. It's that she's, she's desperate to get somebody in your energy because she needs you to get into a relationship. So whoever wants to be with you or whatever is supposed to be giving to you does not make it to you, okay? Because someone is so desperate to be you. And this woman is married, and the person she wants is also married, and I don't think he's interested in her like that. Um, I don't, or maybe they started some type of work affair or something like that, and she's trying to hold on to him. I don't know what this is. There's something about she and a masculine she's trying to hold on to, but she's already married. So she thinks that she's in competition with you for this masculine. It could also be something where it says she's trying to pay this man to have a one night stand with her, but he doesn't want to have a one night stand with her. He may find her to be uh, maybe attractive or something, but there's something where he's like, she's like old or something. There's something about her age or the way she carries herself. It's not very proper for him. He doesn't find it to be very uh, tasteful. It may be something that turns him off. Uh, so because she's showing up as the Queen of Pentacles and I picked up on a King of Pentacles, it may be that they both work together and maybe she's a higher up in a company and she's making passes at him and he's just not feeling it. There is something about her energy that just turns him off, but I don't know if she doesn't pick up on it. And if he got with her, it's more than likely just for money. It's not like whatever I'm picking up on, baby, it's a little bit on the insidious side. Like this woman is an opportunist. Basically, she has a thing for another person. Investment. What I also picked up on is that this will be the woman who's after your man, but she will tell you that another woman is after your man. Like you see that girl right there? I will watch out for her. Don't let your husband around her. But the whole time she's the one that's after your husband. Now you the wife of the husband. You're not putting two and two together because you see a young energy. Maybe she's very beautiful or something. You think she's after your man because she and your man works together. The whole time the young energy ain't paying your husband no mind. Like maybe he's the owner or the uh the whatever position he has in the company says sure as long as he signs my as long as I show up to work, do my job, he signs my check on payday and I get my money, my direct deposit, baby, that's all I need to worry about. Just because a feminine energy is young does not mean they're naive, they're out here reckless and just available for any and everybody. Some young ladies actually have self-respect and they actually have boundaries and things like that there could be a man within a company too that has a problem with your boundaries or you being very difficult to get with and things like that because as for you loyalty is a very important thing this woman is paying for you to be sabotaged or for some type of communication to be sabotaged like they want your energy to be diminished destroyed like she's very threatened and intimidated by you if you were to meet this person you will be shocked 
because this is someone that's that way older than you and you wouldn't expect and it's just not a problem i know i mentioned age on here a lot it's just not a problem but it's how you carry yourself at your age that matters to me it's like if you're going to be let's say in your 50s or because i'm picking up someone that's very much up there okay and there's nothing wrong with that but you got to carry yourself at your age like i'm in my 30s you ain't going to see me out here wearing skimpy shorts and things like that i've never felt comfortable wearing it i don't judge people that do it if if if, if it makes them feel good that's all that matters right um but as you get older you gotta kind of you, you kind of have to straighten up a little you know carry yourself with a little bit of more class so if that's coming up this is more than likely somebody that dresses her skimpy and she may have a problem with you being more modest and things like that so this is someone that's older than you but you dress a little bit more modest than she does this is someone who like going to work she's wearing a skimpy skirt they don't even go halfway uh, past half her uh, thighs or something like maybe they start right below her uh, butt cheeks or something like all she has to do is tip over and you can see everything which is really embarrassing um so it's something about this woman's energy that just maybe it doesn't sit well with him or he's just with her for some type of convenience she may be trying to offer him some type of promotion or something of that nature so that he can reject you maybe she, uh maybe she already did this now i don't know if he accepted the bribery or if he's going to accept the bribery that's on him but i know i picked up on something where it's like he was thinking like i, I already love this sweetheart or I, I really i'm more i'm already interested in this sweetheart or something like he's interested in somebody else it could be you or it could be the fact that he already has somebody at home that he loves and wants to be with but she's trying to you know like manipulate him into having some type of affair with him and this is not her first time doing this this woman does this very often this is like her model she she's married but she doesn't care i just heard it's not cheating if if nobody finds out so this is someone that does not mind to live with other people outside of her marriage as long as her husband does not find out and nobody finds out so it's quite a whole lot she does nothing but cause illusions and things like that you will also have some resources in the court system that's going to be brought to your attention um but there's something either maybe it was this woman that took your inheritance whatever it is um so just be careful because someone is out here very dangerous very desperate to have something go her way uh she could be very angry at a couple and a king of pentacles or the couple is being practical about a situation maybe they don't want to collaborate with her anymore because of something she's been doing um and which has to do with maybe taking from you blocking you ending you um it could also be the fact that a king of pentacles wants to have a ten of cups with you and he has a lot of emotions for you so it's exactly like what i was saying she's making him an offer and he's turning her down because when he's either in love with you wants to work with you um or he's already in love with his wife which is, which is how it's supposed to be people get married for a reason right hopefully they got married for love okay or it could be that maybe the relationship with them is over and he's in love with you so whatever insidious offer he's give she's giving him <laughs> excuse me he's not interested this could also be where like this could also represent his wife that's pissed off because he's going to have a ten of cups somewhere else okay so this man is in a bit of a fender bender he got a, a, a obsessed lover obsessed lover because i don't think he has something to do with this crazy woman at work he has someone out here that's obsessed with him wants to have him uh feels like she, he belongs to her or something like i have to have that maybe trying to pay him for a one night stand like i said but he's turning her down um and then you have the ex-wife and i think that's part of the reason why she's showing up in the reverse here they're no longer together or something that's very pissed up because he's gonna have this ten of cups with you this is what this man wants he says that this is what he needs a ten of cups so be very very cautious um i also heard of uh like someone being sent to you or this was like an intent to send someone to you to get married to you so that you wouldn't receive an offer more than likely from this person. So you could have another energy being sent to get with you, propose to you very quickly so that this masculine does not end up being with you. There's something very wild that's just going on. I told you a lot of emotions for whoever you are. You're, you are actually single. 
like and it's bothering these people and this is why they're trying to arrange people to be put up i mean placed in your energy so that you can end up getting with someone and if this king of pentacles finds out that you are with somebody then it's going to be really heartbroken for heartbreaking for him because he holds you in very high regard the ace of cups kind of emotions is not something to play with it's something that's very intense it is something that's very um a healing very nurturing that's that equal give and take where you two are pouring into each other and the universe is pouring into your union as well so he has a lot of emotions for you and it bothered this woman i don't think he cares uh he's going to be taking some type of action to come towards you i don't know when he's going to be doing that i keep hearing something about safety first so there could be something where they're trying to make it dangerous um, or unsafe for this man to come towards you. I'm telling you, you see that? <laughs> An independent queen of cups. <laughs> very, like, very much in love with you. Wants to uh, uh, maybe balance something out for you. Maybe bringing something to your attention. He sees you as very independent and uh, a queen of cups. And I think that's what he's wanting, okay? It's like, it's like she's trying to get him to deny his emotions for you. It's like, just, you got to let her go. Just act like she didn't exist or something. I don't know what the conversation is. It's just like she's trying to get him to see you in a light that's not yours. It's like, uh, you know, like someone telling another energy. You probably don't understand. Uh, maybe you probably just like her because she's a beautiful gal and all of that, but she's not who you think she is, right? She's not the kind of gal that you need to be with. Those kind of gals that are not for marrying. They're more so for, you know, that, uh, that, uh, that, that for fun times. I think it's maybe what she's telling him that you, the Queen of Cups, you are for fun times, not for marriage, not for something serious. But in reality, you know how it always goes in life. The Jesse Bells always get married first because they know how to spot a, a wealthy man and snatch a wealthy man and stay snatched onto him until they find another wealthy man that's wealthier than the one they are with and which is this woman's model. Okay, now I'm not saying that's his ex-wife's model, but there's somebody in his energy that's obsessed with him and that's her model. He could, there could be like quite a few different uh, uh, Queen of Pentacles in this man's energy as well because I'm picking up on another one that is in his immediate environment that's obsessed with him. Like this man must be very good looking. Someone must be very good looking, which is why all of these women are so obsessed with him. But he's not very fun of them because their energy is just very ins insidious. It's the word and disturbing is the word that keeps coming to mind. It's like you're forcing yourself on somebody, but you're trying to get them to see it as a genuine interest, that you're normal. You know, you're, you're, you're just trying to show your interest in them. You're just trying to help them and things like that. But it's like all he sees is like these, these disturbing things you're doing to get his attention. Whereas he knows his Queen of Cups don't give two Fs how he look, how sparkling white his teeth is, or teeth are, excuse me, how much money he has in the bank, probably not even thinking about him or whatever that is. Because maybe more than likely she found out he was married or whatever, and she would say, oh, well, it sounds like he's un unavailable, it is what it is, and moved on with her life, or just never really thought of this man like that. Because a lot of the times the Queen of Cups uh as loving as they are as kind and genuine as they are that she may be like myself we have to get to know you first like uh what do they call it like sepio is it sepio sexual or something like you fall in love with people for their mental uh not because of how they look how much money they have or their instrument size or things like that it's more so their mental their intellect and things like that that's what turns you on but these kind of women, that's not why they are interested in him. It's more so how he looks. Does he have a big instrument? Does he have a lot of money? And that is exactly why he don't want to be with them because he's picking up on all of that energy. And he's trying to get the heck away from them as fast as possible in a very clever way. Run, run, run for the hill circus. They got problems. I don't know what in the world this is, but... And I keep picking up on a, I was gonna say, I keep picking up on an ex-wife that's trying to hold on to him. Like she's trying to keep him. And it's not because she's she's in love with him or she's trying to make it work or something. It's just so she so he doesn't end up in a ten of pentacles. It's like or a ten of cups, excuse me. It's just that it could be both. She doesn't want him to have a ten of cups or a ten of pentacles. So it's like 
How dare you leave me? You're not going to leave me and go be happy with that Queen of Cups over there. Okay? You're going to stay here with me and be miserable. It's something... Like, this woman is very angry that this man wants to have wish fulfillment elsewhere. It's that we've been miserable together for years. You've been doing your thing. I've been doing my thing. Why then are you all of a sudden deciding to want to have genuine love? What's up with that? Uh, I'm going to need you to stay here with me and be toxic. And they say, what in the world are you doing, Betty? You got to let him go. Yeah, let him go. There's something that she's or uh, they are doing out of anger. There's something they're doing out of anger. And this has to do with your foundation. Because this man wants to be with you, everybody sees you as a threat. Now, you may not even know that this man is interested in you because you more than likely are not even around these people. You're maybe up somewhere else living your life and things like that. And you got all these women coming after you more than likely trying to destroy you because of this man's interest in you. And I feel like he probably tried to hide his interest in you from everybody because he knew how much of a nutcase these women were. I don't know if the ex-wife is like a gang leader or something, being out here moving like a gang and orchestrating people's demise and things like that or orchestrating attacks on people. There's something she's been doing behind the scenes when it comes to hindering somebody's finances, their foundation, their family, and things like that. Something interfering with kids and things like that. And she don't care. As long as she said this man does not leave her and go end up being happy. That's all she cares about. She could be upset with a king of cups as well because there's something where she's trying to keep him. Uh, and I don't, I don't know if it's the ex-wife. It could be another king of, another queen of pentacles within a community that maybe form some type of contract with a king of cups and this king of cups could be someone from your past with this ten of cups out here so she maybe binded him to a contract maybe he's trying to leave or maybe he went and got married to someone he thought was better than you or something and he's finding out she's not better than you or maybe he went back to the past with her being in the reverse or something and he's finding out it's not what he thought it was so he may be trapped in a, a unhappy union wanting to come to you not wanting you to come uh connect with anyone um but it's that like you're moving on with life there's something where the universe is going to remove you from a situation from an environment and you're going to step into your abundance whatever people have maybe taken from you because i see something about your finances being restricted and things it's going to be returned to you 10 times full so i wouldn't hurt your head something will be balanced out you may have a uh, 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 maybe she's trying to keep uh, this masculine who's trapped with her from communicating with you. So you may have a king of cups from your past that wants to communicate with you, reconcile with you, and they're trying to keep him from doing that. They say, no, 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 no. Make sure you uh, delete every information, every communication. So this man, I feel like she could even be pretending to be you and communicating with him, and he thinks that you're the one communicating with him. When well, you probably haven't talked to someone in years or something like that, or months, weeks, days, or something like that. You probably haven't communicated with this person in a long time. But she's there pretending like it's her, like it's you communicating with him. And he doesn't know that it's not you. And he may feel like you're ignoring him or something, but it's that you haven't received any communications from this person. It could even be something where it's that you're locked out of certain accounts and things like that, and he doesn't know it, and he's constantly sending messages to maybe your, your your phone number or your email whatever it is and he doesn't know you're not getting it and this woman is very angry because she knows if you and this man connect and you decide to work things out with him you will have a ten of cups with him but i don't think you're going back to the past this man is stuck in something with this woman and it's very uh treacherous there's there's no happiness you see the three of swords there four of pentacles and she's in the reverse there is no happiness there yeah he's trying to communicate with you about some type of abundance some type of like having like a family with you reconciling as a family coming back together as a family while that's good maybe he's done the work to heal with the page of cups out here i don't think you're going back to the past and this masculine may be taking it the hard way so maybe even he's doing things behind the scenes to block you stop you and do and things like that this could be somebody that he partner up with i don't know if it's specifically a wife or just someone in an organization that is 
keeping him from communicating with you but he does look like he wants to reconcile with you but it looks like your contract with this person is over and she's very pissed off that he wants to tell you the truth it says someone has developed some type of loyalty to you after betraying you horribly and now they have to figure out how to fix things with you but it's like they're playing something in their mind back and forth. It's like, I may never see this person again. I may never be able to reconcile with them. What the heck is going to happen? Am I about to lose this person? Because the both of you are showing up as the king and queen of cups. So this is something that was absolutely a very genuine relationship. But whoever this is could have played the role of a narcissist and decided to keep his feelings to himself. He didn't want you to get a big head because a man loved you truly with this page of cups out here. He's showing up as the ten of uh, as the page um excuse me. He's showing up as the king of cups, meaning he has a lot of emotions for you. Someone have genuine emotions for you, but they neglected you as well. But now that that time has passed where he was supposed to be genuine with you. I don't even think somebody realizes that maybe you were like a gift to him and he was a gift to you. For the both of you to heal each other or just love each other because there's something where it's that the both of you may have grown up very much alone uh and this was an opportunity for you too to kind of create some type of family of your own where there was a genuine love and things like that but there's something about this man's emotions he doesn't know how to manage his emotions so maybe he he felt a little afraid or really really afraid that you were showing him love showering 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 him with love excuse me um and it was something that was new to him because he's used to dealing with women in the reverse so why would he even fall for that nonsense they said sure i know you're just pretending you don't love him but somebody found out no you didn't really care about him you held him in high honor and things like that of course maybe you two like all relationships had your misunderstand and misunderstand things and conflicts here and there but i don't think it was something where you like uh didn't you know see the good in him but there's something this man did towards maybe the end or maybe betray you heavily with partnering up with this queen of pentacles in the reverse and betraying you with this three or swords that maybe is unforgivable for you and this may be something that ends up hunting him for the rest of his life but someone is about to go through some type of experience that he is going to sit back and realize that he has nobody to blame for it but himself because he put himself in that predicament i see a man like literally just betraying someone that did nothing but showed him love like maybe you even tried to hold on and to the relationship try to keep him happy or make him happy or just try to understand him and things like that but he never quite understood you maybe you may be on the eccentric side of things so he never quite understood how it is you were because you know a lot of people that come from toxic relationships or backgrounds and things like that they don't really understand how genuine love works they're so used to toxicity that when you show them genuine love they think you you want something from them like like it's not it's not unconditional they're used to conditional love where it's that they give something to a woman uh if if like a woman does something for them they are they know that woman is expecting something from them too okay so if she gives him a good time right whether they're married or not he knows that she's expecting something in return but you're not that a queen of cups in the upright is always someone that is doing something from a genuine place this is somebody that likes to see everybody happy now you could have someone else that's trying to hold you this man here it's a few people trying to hold on to him okay for some of you, this could be someone that you had a past contract with. You never had the chance to be with them. And he has maybe like a, either a sister, a ex-lover or someone that's trying to hold on to him. And then you got, I don't know who this is, an ex-wife of his that's trying to hold on to him. And he's trying to communicate with you. Like, hey, I was wondering if we could meet and see if we can, if I can um take you out or something so we can talk. It is at night. <laughs> Both of them, they said, now my watch. So he's stuck where he is, living in fear, thinking about you, trying to figure out how to get in contact with you. And they're like, nah, 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 watch. You're going to stay here with us and be miserable. <laughs> I'm telling you, be miserable. Okay? He's trying to communicate to you about some type of betrayal. I don't know if, if it's like... uh why something happened or that something was left to you whatever it is 
Um, but they say he was part of the reason why either something was sticking from you or why uh, 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 something played out the way it did. This is someone I see like going all out on you for no reason. And even when they found out that you were innocent, their pride got in the way. So they still kept doing something and still maybe doing something you don't, I don't know, or you never know. But it's because of pride that this person is still doing it. They may have signed a really bad contract. So even if they don't want to do something, this Queen of Pentacles reverse is telling him, you made a promise, you signed a, 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 a contract with me, you've got to do what I said you've got to do, or you're going to get locked up for, uh, um, for, oh, what is the word? Lord have mercy, what is the word? <sighs> for violating the contract, okay? Uh, something like that. And he's in a lot of fear and anxiety because he knows, just like I was saying, this man knows that he lost a really good relationship. The Five of Cups is that when you lose a very important connection to you, and he's just now finding out who you were to him. So he's in some type of Five of Cups, He's, but he's angry and he's, I don't know why he's this angry because it's like, this is the time in life when you got to sit back and take accountability for your action. Uh, he may be angry because the emperor is closing a chapter and coming towards you and he don't want to see you with somebody else, but it's like, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The contract between you and that woman is over. Is that... I can't, I can't, like, he, he's, he can't live in a world where he's going to see you with somebody else, but it's like he did this to himself. Like, someone was taking reckless actions out here to confuse people about you. It's like you're an empress energy, a queen of cups, and he told people that you were reckless, queen of wands in the reverse, you just lay with anybody, you didn't care about yourself, poor hygiene and things like that. They didn't tell people the truth, and now people are finding out the truth and do want to work with you. All of a sudden, he got emotions. He's unhappy. He's sad. He's scared. He's, what, terrified? Scared that things are going to be balanced out in your life? It's like I did everything to destroy you. I can't afford for you to build back up. So even if you're building right now, he's doing something to destroy it as well. And this is all from a place of ego. Unfortunately, that's how some people are. They can make mistakes, but they don't want to hear the truth. I <laughs> said the truth. <laughs> they don't want to hear the truth about that mistake. There's somebody confessing about some type of blockage that everybody has been doing. Because I don't think it's just a Queen of Cups reverse that's been doing some type of blockages. There is something where it's been a group effort. Okay? It's been a group effort to block you. A group effort to block you from moving forward. From having... Uh, um, offer some having new beginnings from having some type of connection with an emperor and things like that and maybe this emperor is seeing things from uh, uh seeing things for what they are and he knows now why things were the way they were okay but you got someone that's uh I, i'm picking up on a queen of cups uh reverse that's been causing blockage blockages and still miss for you because she wants an emperor to choose her I don't know if it's for like an opportunity, an investment or something, but she's going to lose all of that. Because this man knows exactly what's going on. Like he knows, like, verbatim, what's going on. There's not something she can hide. They've all been working to block you. You could be a queen of swords, and I believe you are. They've been trying to block a queen of swords, basically. And you're in your queen of swords, in swords energy for a while. They don't want you and somebody meeting because when you two meet, Things will be balanced. Our destiny will play out, which it still will. Maybe it may take uh, some type of crafty way of doing it. Someone may have to protect themselves right now because he got a lot of uh, nut kisses around him. Uh, I'm trying to stop him from moving on with life and things like that. It's like these women are in some type of competition with you, but the competition is one-sided. Because obviously a lot of the times... And persons are in the upright. They're not competing with anyone. They're not worried about anyone. What's going on with anyone? Um, someone could be trying to come in your life and balance something. I'll be generous with you. And these people are trying to stop it because they want to live in a world where you are living in destitute, where you are impoverished, uh, not taking care of yourself, not being seen as beautiful. You could be someone who, like, your skin maybe glows and things like that. They don't want to see your glowy skin. They want you to be dusty. 
looking and things like that so that this man can reject you. But there's something where it's like this man knows you on a soul level. So it doesn't even matter how you look when he meets you. He already knows and feels you on a soul level. So all of that is going to be re irrelevant. I don't even think like when someone thinks of you, I don't think it's from like a superficial standpoint. And that's what they don't understand. These women, they got in this man's energy or they're in this man's energy because of a persona they've put out there. And he knows it's all personas. It's all fake. None of them are friends. They don't like each other. It's not genuine. This person, he knows it's not a genuine queen of clubs. He knows the queen of pentacles in reverse is a nightmare, uh, a ruthless kind of energy. Could have a, a queen of swords around him that's been paying to have something done to you repeatedly for a long time and things like that. Maybe they were all working together and he's seeing things differently now. But he knows them for who they are and what they offer as far as the, the personality, the essence, the substance, he's, he's, he's not with it. It's that one woman, you're an empress, and it's four different women in the reverse competing with you, and they don't understand why things are not going in your favor. And they don't got nothing with, what, with, 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 with you doing anything to them, with what they think you did to them because you didn't do nothing to them. It got nothing to do with that. It's just... It's insecurity. There's something about money. This Queen of Pentacles is after some type of money. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Cups reverse is after money as well. This Queen of Swords, whoever I've been picking up on, is just malicious. She she's just spiteful, just insecure and spiteful, and she's very determined to stop you from being seen, from being heard. I'm telling you, she's paying people to take something from you, steal from you. It's gonna be a disappointment. At the end of the day, what she's going to realize is that she wasted her money. She wasted her time. This is somebody that's like very like small-minded, narrow-minded. There's no nothing outside of what she sees. And there's some type of secret. Every time she comes up, I, I hear something secret. There's some type of secret this woman cannot afford for people to know. But it's that people know. Uh, I don't know. It's just that she doesn't even want it to be known on a grand scale. It's still going to be exposed. Um... And you, you have somebody in here that may need to compromise with you, but she doesn't want to. And she's going to have to if she wants to stay living some type of lifestyle that she's been living. Or she's going to lose it. Like, they're very determined to stop you, basically. Whoever they're sending to you is not even your type. You're like, it's a kid. You know how sometimes you'll, you'll meet someone that, let's say you, you as a woman, maybe you're like 5'11", and someone is at 5'8", but they're very mature for their age and height and things like that so you two click or something whoever they're sending could be like uh he could be like six feet tall six five tall but it's like a child in the body uh even if they're they're short it's a child in the body you and this person are not going to click in any way shape or form you're just going to be polite with this person and i feel like uh there's something these people miss about you it's like and i don't mean like they miss you or something they, there's something that they, they have a misconception about your personality as a Queen of Cups. It's that the Queen of Cups is nice to everybody. You're not going to catch the Queen of Cups just, you know, being rude and stuff like that to people. you got to do something to the Queen of Cups for them to be rude to you. Like you got to push them too for them to get to that point. So the Queen of Cups is naturally nice to everybody, naturally kind to people. What people that are not self-aware... Uh, will assume is that because the Queen of Cups is nice to them, that means the Queen of Cups is interested in them and things like that. So they may uh, uh, miss, uh, what is it, misinterpret your personality for someone that is loose uh, and, and, and re readily available for any and everybody when in reality you're a bit of a recluse but you're a Queen of Cups. Um, you're just nice to people, okay? But someone is, someone is going to be coming towards you to give to you, and it's going to lead to some type of work contract for you, um, and it will be something that's very much fulfilling for you, and this is what these people are trying to sabotage. It's to sabotage you from having wish fulfillment. They don't want this contract. They don't want this meeting taking place. Whether this is an interview or whatever this is, they are trying to take some type of contract from you, trying to take your work. Whatever it is, they're trying to steal it. But you're going to have wish fulfillment in the end. Okay? This came out sideways. So I feel like this group, whoever they're 
collaborating, something is not going in their favor. They're gonna have to let go at, at a, uh, a certain point. Like this is supposed to be like a secret collaboration. I'm telling you, they're not going to get what it is that they think they're gonna get. They're all stepping right into poverty. Uh, there could be someone confessing the truth behind the scenes about something they did. And it could lead to, I don't know what it's going to lead to. I'm not even going to say that part. But there's some type of confession that's taking place about a five of pentacles situation. And that is you, that, that they did something for you to end up in a five of pentacles. Like they took something from you or they lied or cheated or stole or something like that. Um, and this group is about to go from being, you know, you know how like wish fulfillment, happy, content and things like that. Maybe they open some type of business where the business is thriving. It's about to take a turn for the worse. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about to take a turn for the worse. They're trying to stop the truth from coming out. They're trying to stop people from finding out what it is that's really been going on this sun in reverse is very alarming it's very alarming dang dang whoever this queen of cups is that's causing their stagnation someone is very arrogant very arrogant and that's something that's going to lead to her downfall because things will still be balanced out in your life but someone is very arrogant with the way they move, the way they think, like she, like there's something where she thinks like, like she's, you know, all, like this is someone very loud. She's not even modest. This is someone very loud. This is the loudest person in the room. Uh, she may have put herself out there to be someone that's real calm, nonchalant, subtle and things like that. But he's probably, he already found out that she's not any of those things. Oh man. They're trying really hard to stop the truth from coming out. They may even feel like overburdened, like something is overbearing for them right now. Whatever is going on, it has become too much. It has become too much. Like this Queen of Pentacles reverse is exhausted. She's tired. She's arrogant. Like they're all arrogant. All of them, they're arrogant. They feel like there's some type of, some type of exhaustion, like... Like, it feels like they're going through, like, a raining day every day. Like, every day they wake up, they see you, hear you, or whatever, it's a raining day. They would like for you to just go away so they can keep pretending to be what they are not. Is that just go away. Somebody shut her up. Somebody shut him up. Something like that. And there's something about this man where he's finding out everything was orchestrated. Everything was orchestrated. So I don't know if it has something to do with you, where is that people collaborated or make you look some type of way and he's finding out that it was all orchestrated. And then when you when he's trying to take action to come towards you, they're doing something to stop this from happening, to stop you two from meeting. They don't want him asking you questions and things like that. Like they're trying to, they may even be trying to pay him to walk away and things like that. To sneak you, sneak him. But you need to be careful, sir. But I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.